Hi, my name is Alex, and I have found victory through Christ in the midst of depression. Hi, my name is Chris Stout, and by God's wonderful and perfect grace, I struggle well with lust and pornography. Hi, my name is Audrey, and I'm a believer in Christ who struggles with sexual addiction. Hi, my name is Barb, and I am experiencing forgiveness and restoration for my past infidelities. My name is Lindsay, and I'm a believer who struggles with alcoholism, guilt and shame, and smoking. Prior to becoming a believer, I found my significance in men and work. I went from one long-term relationship to another, and I drank a lot in order to escape from my problems and my fears. But what I found was this just served to compound one problem on top of another. When I became a believer at the age of 28, I continued to drink. What this brought on was a lot of conviction and a lot more problem. As I continued to drink for the next two years, I also began to spin out. I hit my rock bottom and went to the church and asked them for help. I couldn't handle it anymore. I knew that I could go one of two ways, the way of my old life or the way I knew the Lord wanted me to go. The church suggested that I go to the ministry of Celebrate Recovery the following Monday night, and I did. Jesus Christ met me at the door and He said, you are gonna find love and healing here, and He was right. Every promise that Jesus made to me has been fulfilled. I found freedom, I found love, and I found grace at Celebrate Recovery. I'm Brandon, and I find freedom in knowing that my decision to have an abortion was not greater than my decision to accept Christ as my Savior. Hi, I'm Kim, and I am learning to tell you the truth. My name's Leonard, and I'm a believer who struggles with homosexuality. And even introducing myself that way sounds awkward and, um, and it, it bugs me sometimes. But I'll tell you one thing that it helps me hear myself say that is that I can be a believer and I can struggle. And um, if you asked me five years ago if I had hope, I would have told you. I was hopeless. CR provides a safe place where you can find hope um, when you're hopeless. And it, um, for me, it helped me with uh, level setting my sin. It wasn't worse than anybody else's. And, uh, and I, I could sit around with other, with other men that, that had the same struggles. And, and, when, I, and when I said something, um, they would, they would be waiting for me to be finished so that they could share their struggle. And there was no condemnation. And, um, and that's, that's, that's Jesus right there. That's a glimpse of his work on the cross, uh, the forgiveness, the mercy, and the grace that you can find um, for whatever you're dealing with. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm free from the bondage of drugs in my life. Hi, I'm Joy, and in Christ, one day at a time, I'm finding victory over alcohol. My name is Eric. I'm a believer who has been bound by guilt and shame, but I found confidence through faith in Christ. Hi, my name is Lee, and I'm a believer in Christ who struggles with an eating disorder. For most of my life, food um, was everything to me. It was my best friend, and at the same time, it was my worst enemy. Um, my love for food controlled me. Um, I would use food um, as a way to meet my need for community or companionship um, as a means of dealing with emotions like anxiety or fear or insecurity or feelings of unworthiness. Um, I was completely consumed with my love for food. Um, I came to CR and um, was just weary of this battle. Um, felt like I'd lived every day of my life fighting this um, and I was just tired of it. Um, but through CR, the Lord has done more than I could have asked for or imagined. Um, he has transformed parts of my heart and my life that I didn't, I couldn't have even asked for Him to change. Um, he's equipped me with the tools um, of prayer, of believing and meditating on His Word, and of being honest about my struggle with other people. And I've seen Him restore hope and healing that um, I never even dreamed of. 
Hey, I'm Laura, and I'm a believer that is learning how to find my significance in Christ versus finding my significance in the way other people view me. I'm Pam, and my confidence in Christ has helped me overcome my fear of rejection. Hi, my name is Merritt, and I have an addiction to people and a fear of what they think of me. In recovery circles, we call it codependency. I came to celebrate recovery after hurt from a previous relationship. I was crying all the time. I didn't know how to fix myself, and all I really wanted to do was feel better. Um, working through the steps at CR, I learned that it's really not about me. It's not about what I can do to um, fix myself or actually to even feel better. It's about Christ and what He can do in my life and how His power works through me to change um, my struggles and the way that I have operated for more than 30 years. I am Susan and I am a believer in Jesus Christ who is struggling well with pride. I'm Carlos. By accepting God's grace, I'm able to forgive today. Well, my name is Todd and I'm a believer who struggles with shame, fear, and pornography. I had my first exposure to porn when I was about 10 years old and my exposure continued uh, up and through my adult years and I kept it somewhat under control, uh, or so I felt, uh, for a while until a, a series of circumstances in my adult life pushed me really to the brink of where I was considering suicide. And in the process of trying to recover from this, I, I went to some counselors, and, and one of those counselors suggested Celebrate Recovery. And when I came to CR, I, I was intrigued by what I saw, but frankly, I wasn't impressed because I was pretty impressed with my own intellect, thought I knew a lot, and I wasn't hearing anything I hadn't heard before. And so I quit coming after a few months. About, about six months later, after floundering, I found a testimony on the Watermark website of another guy who also struggled with pornography. And I remember being impressed by God telling me, you know, he's getting some recovery and you're not. And so would you rather walk around feeling like you're the smartest guy in the room or would you like to maybe try this out and swallow your pride? And so I did that and came back and uh, it was a much different experience the, the second time. I learned to be vulnerable and to talk about my struggles even when I'd blown it. And so I come out the other side of that being thankful, frankly, for how I've been made.